Good morning, good morning, good day sa lahat. Uh, ito po naman ang inyong lingkod, si Attorney Cap. So, meron naman po tayong uh, i-discuss no? or katanungan na sasagutin natin ngayong araw na ito. Alright, so but before natin uh, sasagutin ang katanungan na yan, panuorin nyo muna ito. Idol, idol, idol ko si Cap. Okay, so nandito na naman tayo. So ang katanungan na ating sasagutin sa araw na ito ay itong uh, which came first, crime or law? So napaka-interesting na question na ating uh, pilit na bibigyan kasagutan sa araw na ito. No? So ito po ang na question or itong question na ito ay nabasa ko po sa internet, no? sa Facebook particularly. So uh, doon sa uh, comment section ng question na yan, parang isang ano yan, parang merong isang uh, uh, individual na nagtatanong, nagpost sa kaniyang uh, uh, Facebook timeline, uh, parang uh, inviting for a debate regarding this question. At uh, sa totoo naman, maraming uh, tumugon or maraming uh, nagbibigay ng kanilang kasagutan uh, sa katanungan na ito. At uh, of course, uh, karamihan sa mga sumasagot or nagbibigay ng kasagutan ay sinasabi na uh, ang law daw ang nauna. No? Uh, sinasabi nila... Nauna ang law uh, kasi nga uh, there is a principle of law which says there is no crime when there is no law that punishes it. Or shall we say uh, nulum crimen nula pena sine lege. So this is a very basic principle in criminal law. no So pag sinasabi natin na crimen uh, 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 ay dapat punishable and defined siya under uh, any penal laws. So, kung walang uh, batas na nagpapunish or nag uh, uh, paparusa sa act na yan, ay hindi siya matatawag na krimen. So, tama din naman, no? By logic and applying the principle of law, so, very logical yung answer na law ang nauna. Okay? So, pero meron din namang uh, ito idea ko ito no hindi ko ito nabasa doon sa mga sa mga answers no kasi kas, ka, ka, kadalasan sa mga answers doon ay law talaga daw ang nauna applying this uh, very basic principle in criminal law which uh, is nulum crimen nula pena sine lege right so pero meron din akong isang view dito ang sa akin naman is tama tama ito law applying that principle wala akong question regarding the, regarding John but meron din akong isang idea no na pwede naman na crime ang nauna kaysa batas okay bakit ko sinasabing uh, uh, crime ang nauna uh, kaysa sa batas is basically uh, Tinitingnan ko sa angle sa angle na ano bang krimen ang pinag-uusapan natin dito? Is it a crime which is defined by law or a crime as an act? Okay? So ano po yung crime as defined by law and crime as an act? Pag sinasabi natin crime as defined by law, ito po yung mga crimes na nakapaloob po sa ating mga penal laws, sa ating revised penal code or any penal laws that we have in the Philippines. But, pag sinasabi din natin na uh, crime as an act, it pertains to the fact, no? to the fact which constitute that crime. Okay? So, it is an act. No? Let's say, for example, uh, theft or pagnanakaw. So, itong theft ay dinidefine under our revised penal code, right? So, there is no problem with that. It is defined as uh, 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 a person taking the personal property of another, okay, for personal gain. 
So that is the definition of theft under the Revised Penal Code. Pero hindi natin pwedeng ipawalang bahala na itong act na ito ay nag -e exist na before ang Revised Penal Code. Even before Christ or during the time of Christ and after the time of Christ, this act already existed. That is why I say na there are instances, depende kasi yan kung anong perspective tinitingnan natin kung sasagot tayo sa question na ito. Kung titingnan natin sa, sa perspective na ang crime sa pagkakaintindi natin is an act or as an act, so uh, there is also logic in saying that uh, it existed, the crime existed prior to the law. So, uh, very basic naman yan. No? So, minsan nga sa ating mga mambabatas, uh, pag may na-perceive sila or uh, out of their, uh, out of the result of their investigation, meron silang nakikitang act na ito na nalusutan, no? So, gagawa sila ngayon ng batas para isuppress or i-minimize or para magiging punishable itong particular act na ito na na-discover nila. So, therefore, in that sense, nasasabi natin na nag exist una ang act or ang crime before ang law. Okay? So, yun po yung ano ko. Yun po yung uh, uh, simple na... Uh, logic na ginagamit ko doon. Of course, uh, there is no wrong answer to this question because uh, eh, ini-invite dito yung uh, ability natin to think no? and to reason out. No? And uh, our, our answer based on our opinion is uh, not necessarily wrong. It depends on where we are coming from or what perspective we are uh, in. No? Alright, so gan ganun po yun. No? So, uh, yun po ang uh, uh, simpleng uh, uh, mga bagay na binahagi ko ngayon sa inyo. So, I hope meron kayong uh, at least kunting na tutunan sa discussion natin. Of course, uh, uh, thank you, thank you so much for your support. So, this is my first uh, vlog or this is my first video after I became a monetized channel. So, thank you, thank you sa lahat ng sumuporta at nag-subscribe. So, wag nyo pong kalimutan na uh, mag-subscribe. No? Sa mga hindi pa nakasubscribe, mag-subscribe po. Para kasi marami po tayong uh, uh, discussions in the near future regarding batas or any principles or uh, anything. No? Anything about the law. Alright, so ayun, no? uh, hopefully uh, you enjoy and uh, you have uh, taken something out of my discussion. Medyo ano lang, uh, simpleng ano lang yun, eh, simpleng discussion lang yun. Alright, so ayan, ayan, ayan. So wag kalimutang mag-subscribe kung hindi pa kayo nakasubscribe. And sa mga nag-subscribe na, thank you, thank you so much for your uh, support. So uh, Last uh, November 13, 2020, I officially became a monetized channel. And uh, ayan, so magandang araw po at uh, maraming salamat sa inyong suporta. Idol, idol, idol ko si Kap. Idol, idol, idol ko si Kap.